Hello everyone. When we discussed the Fourier series representation of continuous time periodic signals, we knew that in continuous time, the orthogonal signal space had infinite number of distinct harmonics. That means if I'm talking about sine omega naught t, for instance, this is a sinusoid having a fundamental frequency omega naught. I knew that this kind of a signal can have infinite number of distinct harmonics. That means sine 2 omega naught t or sine 100 omega naught t or for that matter sine 1000 omega naught t. All of these were distinct from each other. They were all different signals. So there can be infinite distinct harmonics of continuous time sinusoids or complex exponentials. That is why if omega was the fundamental frequency of a given continuous time signal, we could represent this signal as a summation of infinite number of distinct harmonics. However, the case is a little different when we talk about discrete time periodic signals. Now, one thing we already know is that sine omega naught t for any value of omega is always periodic. However, sine capital omega naught n which is a discrete time signal is periodic only if omega naught upon 2 pi is a rational number and when you minimize this rational number that means for the minimum value of m whatever is the value of this capital n is the fundamental period now take a look at a complex exponential e to the power j omega naught n where omega naught is some 2 pi by capital n capital n is an integer so I would replace omega naught with 2 pi by n. Now if you look at some kth harmonic of this complex exponential, that would mean e to the power j k 2 pi by n n. So for this complex exponential, the 0th harmonic is 1 e to the power j 0 n, then e to the power j 2 pi by n n. Second harmonic would be e to the power j 2 into 2 pi by n n and so on. Similarly, you would have e to the power, if I look at the n minus first harmonic, e to the power j capital N minus 1, 2 pi by n n. The nth harmonic becomes e to the power j n into 2 pi by n n and n, n get cancelled and e to the power j 2 pi n is cos 2 pi n plus j sine 2 pi n, which is always 1. Similarly, the n plus first harmonic will come out to be same as e to the power j 2 pi by n n. So what we see here is that the nth harmonic is the same as the 0th harmonic. The first harmonic is the same as n plus first harmonic. The second harmonic is same as n plus second harmonic and so on. That means when we speak in terms of discrete time complex exponentials or discrete time sinusoids, what we notice is that in contrast with continuous time where for a fundamental frequency omega naught you could have infinite number of distinct harmonics for a given omega naught in discrete domain so this is this is discrete frequency omega naught has only capital n distinct harmonics where n is 2 pi by omega naught this tells us that just how we could write a Fourier series representation of a continuous time signal in terms of infinite harmonics, we should still be able to write the Fourier series representation of a periodic signal if it is discrete, but a discrete time periodic signal would not have infinite harmonics, it would have only n harmonics. So discrete time Fourier representation of a discrete time periodic signal Xn that has a fundamental period of capital N can be written as summation sum ck e to the power j k omega naught omega naught here is 2 pi by n instead of t there will be n where k varies over an interval n that means this could be 0 to n minus 1 or 1 to n or 2 to n plus 1 anything over an interval n here ck are called the discrete time Fourier series coefficients and ck is given as now if you remember the continuous time Fourier series expression there ck used to be given as 1 upon t naught integration of xt with e to the power minus j k omega naught t so instead of 1 upon t naught here you would have 1 upon n instead of integration you will have summation 
because xn is no longer a function of time it is a discrete sequence xn e to the power minus j k instead of omega naught t you would have omega naught n here n would vary over an interval capital n this is how you write the discrete time fourier series representation of a discrete time periodic signal or discrete time periodic sequence taking an example say xn defined as sin 2 pi by 5 n now clearly here omega naught is 2 pi by 5 and since omega naught upon 2 pi which is in this case 2 pi by 5 upon 2 pi which is equal to 1 by 5 is a rational number for the minimum value of the numerator I find that n is equal to 5 so this is a periodic signal having a period of 5 samples in DTFS we represent xn as a summation of complex exponentials that means I want to represent sine 2 pi by 5 n in the form of summation of some k over an interval 5 as some ck e to the power j k 2 pi by 5 n I can represent this sine omega naught n in the form of e to the power j omega naught n minus e to the power minus j omega naught n upon 2j where omega naught is 2 pi by 5 this tells me that the coefficient of e to the power j 1 into 2 pi by 5 is 1 upon 2j and that of e to the power j minus 1 2 pi by 5 n is minus 1 upon 2j that means this is for k equal to 1 and this is for k equal to minus 1 for all other values of k over an interval of 5 we find that the coefficients are all 0 that means if I look at the interval say from k equal to minus 2 to plus 2 that means an interval of 5 samples for 1 ck is 1 upon 2j and for plus 1 it is minus 1 upon 2j I could write this as minus half j and this one as half of j taking j to the numerator since we know that discrete frequency omega is going to repeat itself after every 2 pi that means we can also say that ck would be same as ck plus n because the Fourier series coefficient is also going to be repetitive so over an interval minus 2 to plus 2 t of minus 1 came out to be half j and that of 1 came out to be minus half j now since n is equal to 5 that means c minus 1 would be same as c minus 1 plus 5 that is c4 so c4 is also half j c0 is 0 for k equal to 2 and minus 2 also it is 0 since c0 is 0 c5 will also be 0 c10 will also be 0 c of minus 5 and minus 10 will also be 0 c minus 1 c4 then c4 plus 5 that means c9 would all be the same similarly c1 will be same as c6 which will be same as c minus 4 and c minus 9 and so on so what we notice is that the Fourier series representation of a discrete time signal is always periodic and if you find the Fourier series coefficient over one interval we know that the frequency of higher harmonics which are shifted by an amount of 2 pi are same as omega naught if omega naught was shifted by 2 pi that means ck is same as ck plus n similarly c minus k would be same as c minus k plus n or c n minus k this was the Fourier series representation if xn was sine 2 pi by 5 n now if xn was sine 3 2 pi by 5 n or sine 6 pi by 5 n how to write its Fourier series representation so we know that the first thing to do is to check whether this is periodic or not and find its period so if this is omega naught that means we will have to find omega naught upon 2 pi in the minimum form this gives us 3 by 5 that means in the minimum form for some m equal to 3 the period is 5 now if I write this in the form of complex exponentials I know that sine 3 2 pi by 5 n can be represented 
as e to the power j 3 to pi by 5 n minus e to the power minus j 3 to pi by 5 n this is 1 upon 2 j this is minus 1 upon 2 j for m equal to 3 and m equal to minus 3 in other words c of m is 1 upon 2 j or minus half j and c of minus m is minus 1 upon 2j or half j and the remaining coefficients over one period of length n which is 5 are 0. This is an example of m equal to 3 and capital N equal to 5, m is equal to 3 and cm is minus half j and c of minus m is half j. So what this tells us is that c3 and c minus 3 are these values. So c3 is minus half j and c of minus 3 is plus half j and because this signal is periodic with 5 if c minus 3 is half j that means this would be same as c minus 3 plus 5 that means c2 and in the same way c of minus 2 will be same as c of 3 because ck is ck plus n similarly c2 will be same as c7 and c3 will be same as c8 c minus 3 will be same as c minus 8 and c minus 2 will be same as c minus 7. This is going to continue. What should be noted is that, that over any period of length 5, say minus 5 to 0, we notice that there are only two non-zero coefficients. If you look at minus 4 to 1, there are only two non-zero coefficients. So this is how you can sketch the Fourier spectrum of a discrete time periodic signal. Thank you.